Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me, Stitching with Sue here. So, um, I'm here to do another fun machine embroidery project. I try to keep um, things fun and exciting. So, uh, my daughter is at the age where she has a lot of friends that are having babies. And um, she also is pregnant, which we will be finding out soon, whether it's a boy or a girl. So, it's so exciting. Um, she has two boys now. And... Um, I don't know. Grandma's keeping her fingers crossed that it's a girl, but we'll see. We'll see. So um, her friend is um, going to be having a baby, and apparently these are new things. I don't know. Uh, I'm a grandma. I don't know about things like this, but these are little. Um, she ordered these from Amazon and had them shipped to me. Let me make sure you could see. I will put a screenshot of a model wearing um, one of these. So it's a little hat. It's a newborn hat. And um, she saw online where they had these and they were monogramming, monogramming them. Now, if the bow was a little bit bigger, I probably could have done three monograms. This monogram is from Designs by Juju. That's where I got it from. And I will put a um, down in the description the information on that. And um, I just think it's such a girly, girly font and um, absolutely loved how it turned out. It was a, I don't know how it's gonna kind of turn out kind of thing, you know what I mean? Can you even see that? Where is my finger at? There you go, I think you could see that. I apologize, it's hard to see from behind what, what you guys are seeing in front. So it's a um, knit little hat, again, from Amazon. She, they came in a bunch, I don't know, about six of them maybe, all different ones. And uh, she said, hey, can you do this if I, if I buy these? Well, you know me. Well, yeah, sure, sure, I can do it. So it comes and I'm like, oh my gosh, can I do this? So sorry about that. Um, but I wasn't sure if I could. So you know what? I sat down at the embroidery machine today and, uh, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. So I did, and um, first try came out perfect. Now, she originally told me people were leaving comments to say that the hats were falling apart when they wash. So I said, well, if the bow comes off, that's all great for me. So I did wash this, and um, yeah, the bow didn't come off. So um, let me show you the back of it. And the back, you know, not so pretty, but it's the bow. It's not going to be touching the baby's skin at all. And um, I want to go ahead and show you how I did this. Let me get a hold of my dog here. Hold on a sec. it won't be quite as loud. I don't know. Maybe it's not as loud for you guys. So the font again, I got from designs by Juju and I searched and searched and searched to find the right font. It comes in multiple sizes. And again, this is the two inch, two inch font. And, um, I love it. So the next one I'm going to do is this one. I'm not really sure. I'm going to keep the same thread. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, it's going to show up, but well, we shall see. So um, oh, let me uh, show you the name of what what the bag is that they came in. It's going to want to stick to my embroidery machine. So um, up, I don't even know how you say that. Of course, made in China. U-P-I-E-L-X-D. And um, there is the uh, code for that. But you could just do a search for newborn baby hats and I'm sure it'll come up. All right, so let's do this other one. She said do a couple of them. So um, I'm gonna do this. It came with pink. Let me show you what else they came in. Came in pink, oops, sorry. Came with blue with a little pink on it. And uh, the white on white is the one I did. And um, there's a, a white with pink. And um, the blue one with the pink. And then there's, these bags are stuck together. And then there's this one here with the blue, white, and pink. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the pink with pink. And uh, just because I already have the white and we'll see how it goes. So I already have it loaded in my machine. Now um, in, my, um, in my sticky hoop, I, um, I think that's what you call this, sticky hoop. Um, I haven't used this too much in the past. I did use it when I did my daughter's um, wedding napkins and it worked out great. So I thought, you know, 
put a reach out to my friends through my Facebook groups and they said sticky, sticky paper. So um, this is a um, cutaway mesh sticky uh, stabilizer. And this hoop doesn't have any top or bottom to it. So it just has the outside frame and um, I thought it worked out well. So um, make sure you have your hat in the right position. And I'm just going to kind of, and like you said, you, I don't know if you could see, but I've already used this, but I thought, you know what? I can use it again. So I'm just kind of making sure, this is gonna stick really nice to here, making sure, let me take it back off again, place it down, kind of stretch it out a little bit. And then what I did was I took a piece of, um, clear water soluble stabilizer and I put that over the top and of course that stuck nice to the um, background so let me move my design down okay so I move that down and I'm just looking at the screen um, kind of wanting my needle to kind of go in the center a little bit of playing around that's too might be too far over too far okay so then on the machine there's a uh, square with a little arrow and dashes going around you're gonna go ahead and click on that what that's going to do is it's going to do an outline to show you exactly where this is going to stitch so um, I'm going to use that and um, let's see it's going to go down there Looks like I got to move it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to close it and then I'm going to move it down a little bit. Maybe a little too much, maybe a little bit to the left. I'm going to go back to that square and do another. That one's too far down. Now this machine does have a, um, does have a little pen where um, you can use that you know, to a lineup. I've never really learned how to use that. So that would probably be easier. I'm looking at the screen where the little plus mark is and um, I'm kind of using that as my guide. So let's go ahead and let's try this one. The top of it's gonna be there, okay? The bottom's gonna be there. The left will be there and the right will be there. So I probably could move it over maybe a little bit more let's check let's check the uh, layout again so the top is here so it's about a finger's width and the bottom's here it's about a finger's width the left side is here about a half and the right side there you don't want to go too close to where this um, the bow goes together so and if I go in the center, it's going to be there. And I think that's going to work for me. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go ahead and put the foot down and I'm going to watch it very carefully, but it's quick. It's only um, two minutes and it's the same thread. So we won't even have to change the thread. So we're going to go ahead and press the green button and just keep your eye on it when it's stitching, just to make sure, you know, you don't end up having any problems. Watch how it's stitching. Sorry if the camera's moving a little bit. Um, the ceiling fan is on. It's a little bit warm here. Maybe it'll stabilize itself and you won't really notice that. But, um, so I'm going to put an R on here. And I'm probably going to do one more. Maybe the one of the blue, maybe. I kind of like this pink color, pink on pink. I think it's going to show up really well. So you can make these, you know, however you want. These are pre-purchased bows. Um, if you're really, you know, wanting to, you probably could go ahead and make your own bow. Then you would do the embroidery before you stitch. Um, stitch the bow together. That would be your best case scenario. But um, 
Right now, this is what I've got to work with. And these are so much nicer than those hats that you get at the hospital, you know, that they, they put on the baby's head and they usually put the little um, mittens on their, their hands. So this is just so much more prettier. And I don't know, it's been 30 some years since I've had a baby. So, you know, I know back then they weren't that nice. They were okay. They served the purpose, right? They served the purpose. And uh, I probably could have moved this one over a little bit more to the right, but it's okay. They're, they're handmade. And because uh, the other one kind of was a little bit more closer toward the center of the bow, but it's okay. We're always our worst critic, aren't we? My goodness. Okay, we're almost done. I really love the font for this. I really think that they're, they're just super pretty. Now, I would imagine if you wanted to do the whole monogram, you probably would um, have to make the letters like really small, or normally the center letter is the large one and the two on either side are a little bit smaller. But, um, but this works, this works. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I'm gonna peel off the water-soluble stabilizer. Should take it out of the hoop there, like that. And I probably can use it another time, so I'm gonna set it off to the side. And with this, um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently pull it away and um, where the stitching is, I'm just gonna go in there with my little curvy scissors. Should put them the right way and kind of um, cut around the best I can while it's still attached to the hoop. And depending on where you placed it on your hoop, you probably could do a couple of them. Um, I kind of didn't really pre-plan that well. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit the camera with the scissors. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So let me put that aside. And then um, what you wanna do, and, and I won't do this on camera because I have to put this you know, close to me. You'll pull this up, okay? And then you're just gonna trim around all that excess, you know, as best you can. And then if there's any stabilizer left in here, you can just take a little wet Q-tip or you can kind of just pull it out. But this one's kind of a little bit more close together. So a little wet Q-tip that will uh, remove that stabilizer. Let me just pull this closer to me, trim this out. Cause you know, I'm just, it's kind of like I have to do it, you know, just have to do it. So then I can show you the finished product of uh, what it's gonna look like. And I think these are super cute. So if you know of someone that's having a baby, and of course you have to know, you know, you would wanna know what their name is, unless you wanted to put a little symbol, like, um, you know, a little heart or um, a butterfly, or, you know, if it's for a boy, you know, you could do a, you know, boy thing. I don't know what you'd put for a boy. Um, you probably wouldn't be buying the ones with the, the bows on them, you'd be getting just a plain basic hat. All right, let me just trim a little bit more and be careful I don't cut the hat. Okay, so that's good. Um, let me get this out of the way and um, let's take a look at our finished bow. So there it is. There is that cute little R on there and I think that's gonna make such a precious little gift that my daughter will have to give to her friend that um, is personalized. Let me go ahead and bring in the other one so we can look at the two of them. But I think they, it came out super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do one more off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video for you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. What do you think of this? Um, I'm hoping you could see it. Yeah, I think you can. Um, I think it's a super cute idea. And, um, you know, I know definitely if you were to purchase this, you're going to pay a lot more money than what it costs to buy a whole pack of these little hats. And it just, it stitches up in two quick minutes and you can personalize it with whatever it is you want to put on there. Maybe you wanted to put an, another little something over here, maybe a little heart in the corner. I mean, it's totally up to you how you want to do it, but I think it came out great. And here's the back. 
everybody wants to know the back so and that's going to be the back of the bow it's not going to be the part that touches the baby at all and uh i love it i i'm really excited about it um now i'm hoping my daughter has a girl so i can go ahead and uh make all those fun girly things but if it's a boy i'm sure i can find things to do for a baby boy as well so um thanks so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this fun little project and um, i look forward to coming to you very soon with a lot more videos and until then happy stitching be safe and we'll see you next time so bye for now